In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening. It's lovely to be here with you this evening. And as Father Tony said, a very hearty and special welcome to our children who are beginning their wonderful journey towards their first Holy Communion. It's a very fitting Sunday to begin that journey. It's the last Sunday of the church this year. Next Sunday we begin the Holy Season of Advent. The feast today is our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. And we offer our Mass for the deceased, for Bogona Medina. We welcome members of Bogona's family. And we pray for all our loved departed ones. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. True my fault, true my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest. Glory to God in the
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Children to go down. We invite the children to go down for children's liturgy. A reading from the prophet Daniel. I gazed into the visions of the night, and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship. And men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
reading from the book of the Apocalypse. Jesus Christ is a faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth. He loves us and has washed away our sins with his blood and has made us a line of kings, priests to serve his father and God. To him, then, be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. It is he who is coming on the clouds. Everyone will see him even those who pierced him, and all the races of the earth will mourn over him. This is the truth, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Are you the King of the Jews? Pilate asked. Jesus replied, Do you ask this of your own accord, or have others spoken to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? It is your own people and the chief priests who have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus replied, Mine is not a kingdom of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my men would have fought to prevent my being surrendered to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of this kind. So you are a king then, said Pilate. It is you who say it, answered Jesus. Yes, I am a king. I was born for this. I came into the world for this, to bear witness to the truth. And all who are on the side of truth, listen to my voice. 
the gospel of the Lord. It was very impressive to see the Queen meet Sir Nick Carter, the retiring chief of the British Defence Staff at Windsor Castle during the week. This is a 95-year-old woman, I found myself thinking, who, like anyone of her age, is frail, particularly in the last few weeks, as we know, she has been even more fragile, missing events like the Remembrance Day ceremony at the Cenotaph. Yet there she was the other day, standing up to meet Sir Nick, doing her duty bravely, firmly, with conviction and without fuss. I thought of my own mother, who is 93, giving me a somewhat personal insight into the world of non-genarians. As well as giving us all an example of dedication to her Christian faith, Her Majesty also gives us an example of what a monarch should be like, a person dedicated to their duty and to the service of their people even when that is difficult, even when being in the public eye is not a role you would willingly choose. If we step into a royal TARDIS, it is possible to find other examples of which we may well be proud. St. Edward the Confessor comes to mind instantly for me. He reminds me of St. Martin of Tours in many ways. Martin cut his cloak in half and gave it to a beggar. Edward took off his ring and gave it to another destitute man. Edward also had a great love for the sick and brought healing and kindness to many. Of course, being realistic, We know that history is littered with examples in many different places of monarchs who saw their role as being little more than an exercise in power and who used that power in the worst possible way with catastrophic results. Often when monarchs were deposed, what followed was even worse. For example, the initial noble ideals of the French Revolution, liberté, égalité, fraternité, became la terreur of Robespierre when countless priests and religious were put to the gallows. As the oft-quoted phrase of Lord Acton goes, power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. With this in mind, we celebrate today the Feast of Christ the King. Christ is a king like no other. It is not just that he is king of heaven and earth, but that we make his kingdom come ourselves by giving witness to his kingdom in our lives and mirroring his love to others. This journey begins on the day of our baptism, when we are not only given back the keys of the Garden of Eden, but called to share in the priestly, kingly, and prophetic ministry every time we join in the sacrifice of the Mass, we share in that priestly ministry. We share in the kingly ministry when we make his kingdom come as we have already said, and his prophetic ministry when we give witness to his truth in love. The second reading echoes the promise of the resurrection, the promise of our baptism. On the paschal candle, 
we see the Greek letters for A and O, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. Therefore, Christ is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. This is what Christ's kingdom is, as Jesus reminds Pilate in the gospel. His kingdom, as the first reading recounts, shall never pass away. As we reflect on that this week, and as we prepare to begin our Advent journey next Sunday, let's ask ourselves how we can make his kingdom come on earth as in heaven. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to God our Father, the source of all that is good, asking him with humble hearts for all that we need to live in his light. We pray for Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, that they may serve the flock entrusted to them by word and example. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the abused, the addicted, the unemployed, that they may find help and hope through the generosity and faith of those who care and support them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For World Youth Day, we take this opportunity to give thanks for the significant role of the young people in our parish and wider community. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are housebound, hospitalized, sick, and in palliative care. May they find peace and comfort in Christ's healing love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may always strive to build God's kingdom here on earth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In this month of November, as we remember all our dearly departed loved ones, we pray they find rest, and may Jesus Christ, our King of glory, welcome them to their home in heaven. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We place all our prayers and petitions in the hands of Mary, our blessed mother, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and, making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Pius X, St. Edward, and with all the saints, and his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Bagona Medina, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that Bagona, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. And from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you our God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Peace and love. Amen. To God bless you and fill you with his peace and love. Amen. To God bless you and fill you with his peace and love. Amen. To God bless you and fill you with his peace and love. Amen. To God bless you and fill you with his peace and love. Amen. To God bless you and fill you with
God bless you and fill you with his peace and love. Amen.
trading your righteousness for shame. Despite all my pride and foolish ways, caught in your infinite embrace. Oh, and I find myself here on my knees again caught up in grace like an avalanche nothing compares to this love burning in For the final prayer, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who helped out, and to participate in our Mass this evening in whatever way. And again, it's lovely to have the children here as they begin that wonderful journey to their First Communion. And we will all keep you very much in our prayers during this exciting year ahead. 
Have a lovely week ahead. Take care of each other. Be kind. Think about Christ the King and his power at work in your lives. An interesting little story to share with you just at the end was this morning I had Mass as usual with my patients at Holy Cross and one of the nurses that often brings the patients to Mass is a very devout Jewish man. And I know him well enough and we have great conversations. And I said to him, how does that gospel we heard today, how does that sound to you as someone who is Jewish? The Jewish people handing over Jesus to Pilate. I said, does that sound very hurtful or harsh to you? He said, not at all. It shows to me the power of Jesus, the power of Jesus as a Jew himself and the gift that Jesus gave to the world by being king of heaven and earth. It's a beautiful thought. I said I'd like to share it with you. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. The splendor of the King Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice Beginning and the end, beginning and the end.